Now, the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 17. Hello, beautiful family. A very warm welcome back to the Lovely Statue Food channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. I am super excited today to show you how to make the best roasted chicken for this holiday. It's going to represent you so, so well on the holiday table, so you need to just stick around. But before that, please make sure you're generous enough to give me a thumbs up because it's absolutely helpful. It really, really helps the channel grow, okay? So without further ado, let's go through the ingredients, all right? So to begin with, I have my chicken, of course, and I also have some seasoning. Let's go through it one after the other. In my bowl, I'm going to add some garlic powder, my homemade chicken seasoning powder. Do you have a recipe for that? I'm going to link it here and below. Please go ahead and watch it. And I also added some salt, and now I'm adding about a quarter cup of hot boiling water because I want this seasoning to be very nicely dissolved. I don't want anything to be stuck at the bottom, okay? So adding hot boiling water really helps in dissolving all this seasoning so go ahead and whisk it very well until you notice that everything is well blended together so now it's perfectly blended together so we're going to add about two liters of cold water we want this mixture to come to a room temperature because we're going to marinate our chicken inside we're going to just dip everything in and allow it to just sit for a while okay so make sure you stir everything as well and now now you just want to dip your hands in and once it's cold you go ahead and dip your whole chicken inside this chicken is going to absorb the juices the flavors and everything that this marinade has to offer i also added some lime cloves black pepper and some cardamom seeds also went ahead to add some red onions and bay leaves these natural ingredients really really helps preserve this chicken from contracting any unwanted viruses and germs okay you know chicken is very very sensitive so you just want to do it right at this stage okay so i'm going to cover it with a clean field and just allow it to sit in the fridge overnight this way the chicken will be very well marinated and it's going to absorb every ingredient in here to make this the same thing then i will advise that you start a bit earlier just allow this to rest for about six hours and you'll be good to go so now our chicken has rested overnight so i'm going to pour away the marinate and just go ahead and wash it with clean cold water again clean cold water we do not want to work with any hot water again here okay make sure everything is nicely washed and you do not need to soak it again just wash it rinse it that's that's the word just rinse it off and go ahead and prepare for all your other dry ingredients so for my dry ingredients i had some black pepper some kanye pepper i did also use some lot more of the paprika powder the smoked one and some garlic powder and my all-purpose seasoning i also have some butter in here i divided the butter into two i'm going to make this one very thick with a butter coat as it is and i'm going to melt the other one in the microwave for about a minute and once everything comes together i'll go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients to the melted butter so now we have two seasoning going on here please don't be confused it's the same thing just that i melted one and one is still cold okay so i'm going to add my paprika powder all purpose seasoning and some garlic powder mix everything together and we will now go ahead and smear on our chicken which is going to be ready for the oven so our chicken is nice and here make sure that you tap it dry tapping your chicken dry is going to be able to absorb all this seasoning and marinate very very well that's our second marinade okay just imagine the taste that the chicken is going to have it has been marinated for the first time and it's also going to be marinated again absolutely incredible for the cold seasoning or the cold butter we want to go Go ahead and open up the breast of the chicken and just push everything there the first marinated was done for the bones especially but this time around you want to make sure that you're concentrated with the 
meat the real meat okay so the chicken breast back of the bones and the th chicken thighs is what you have to concentrate on okay so make sure you are generous with your marinade just go ahead and push everything there as you see me do all right and here i'm going to insert some apples on the tummy area just to fill the chicken up it makes it look good okay and it also gives more flavors if you've not tried apple roasting your chicken before you need to try it the aroma is so so great i added some apple some green peppers and some red onions that is the plug okay write it down try it and let me know it is absolutely incredible so now i'm going to use the liquid one to just smear around the chicken and it is always always good to make sure that your chicken is looking good right from the beginning so i use some cotton tie to just tie around the thighs making sure they are nice and stable because i do not want anything to be falling off <laughs> okay they look absolutely great it's so so easy make sure that If you're loving the recipe already please make sure you give me a thumbs up okay so it's time for us to roast our chicken it's ready for the oven but i love to take advantage of the juices that are going to fall from the rake so i added a bit of potatoes some carrots and a bit of veggies great when you kill different bats with just one stone okay so this is what i'm trying to do so now there goes our chicken very nice and beautifully marinated as you can see i preheated the oven at 160 degrees for about 10 minutes and then i'm going to stop it in i'm going to allow this to roast for about 50 minutes so this is about 45 minutes of us roasting our chicken at 160 degrees it's looking absolutely fabulous can you see that that is so so nice i'm just going to give it extra five minutes for everything to wrap up but before that we're going to serve this with some jollof rice okay just look at that color of the jollof 50 minutes later we are done that chicken was juicy it was screaming juices and stuff <laughs> I'm going to now plate it right on top of my jollof and there you have it. It is absolutely stunning. Just look at those color combination and the vegetables and the potatoes were also cooked well, infused with that juices from the chicken. My goodness, it was absolutely just perfect. It's giving what it's supposed to give a bit of tradition with our sanka, our own jollof and lots of veggies and potatoes represented as well. It is just so perfect. I promise you, if you grow your chicken this way, this holiday season, you're going to enjoy. Look at all those juices. Yummy. It was so, so perfect. So there you have it family we are done this is definitely a recipe you need to save for your nest roasted chicken recipe it is absolutely the best okay please do not forget to give me a thumbs up and share to a few friends and family and if this is your first time here hello my name is lovia from lovey Stach. my main goal here is to jar you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home i also love to share kitchen related motivational videos so please come on board and subscribe to join the family for amazing new recipes every week thank you so very much family for watching once again and as always know that you are so beautiful just the way you are i will see you in my next one have a blessed day bye